Hi everybody, I'm Joel Simmons with another Two Minute Turf Talk. When I give soils classes and we start looking at the soil report, typically the first questions that I'll get are questions on pH. And yes, pH is important, but as I tell clients, it's certainly not the most important thing on this soil test report. pH measures the acidity and the alkalinity of a soil. And in layman's terms, it is the percentage of hydrogen on the soil colloid. Take a look at this soil test. Here on number five, we have 10.5% hydrogen on this soil colloid. On a good base saturation test, like the ones that we use at Logan Labs, if we have 10.5% hydrogen on our soil colloid, we will always have a pH of 6.3. And pH of 6.3 is the point at which we have maximum potential nutrient mobility. Anything below 6, we lose our macros. Everything above 7, we start to lose our trace elements. So ideally, we want to have a slightly acidic soil. Having a little bit of hydrogen on that call will allow that to happen. Take a look at number 4 on this soil page. Now we have 0% hydrogen. And what that tells us, without knowing what the pH is, is that the pH has to be 7 or above because there's no more free hydrogen. It is now shifted over to a hydroxyl anion. So when we're looking at our soil test, the question that we need to ask is not what is the pH, but why is the pH what it is? Again, look at these two tests. On both of these tests, the pH is actually being driven by magnesium. So we can drop some of that magnesium by bringing in calcium. We can actually allow hydrogen a little space on the colloid, and that can start to adjust and bring down, in some cases, the pH. So knowing why the pH is what it is is much more important than knowing what the pH is because it's that case that we can start to truly make some changes in our soil's profile.